Hi, this is Mike at Design Point Solutions. I want to take a minute and look at the interactive content of 3D Via Composer, just one piece of the interactive content. I recently had a customer ask if he would be able to use 3D Via Composer to show his overall assembly and then allow people to click on items in the bill of material and drill down to see where the different parts are of that assembly. So I put together a little demonstration that I want to show you how it works and then I'm going to show you how to create uh, just one extra piece to give you a sense of how this was created. So let's take a look at this RC car and we've got a bill of material here with some hot spots in it. So for instance I can click on the front shock springs and I've created another view that shows where those shock springs are located within the car. I've made them flash so we know we can click on them and zoom in and I can always rotate this around and take a look at it from another angle and then here I've even linked this to a little animation if we hit the play button that'll show us how those shocks can be replaced and I put a hot spot in up here at the top to go back to our original view so we can do that with a lot of these different items here in the bill of material now let's take a minute and look at how we would create this sort of interactive content. We'll keep it real simple and come over here to our author tab and use this text2D. We could create buttons that look like whatever we want them to look like, whether it's text or graphics. But I'm just going to call this engine. And what I've done is I've already gone down, uh, we'll go ahead and update this view with that button. I've already created another view down here called engine. It's just a close-up of the engine within that chassis. So what we want to do if we go back to our main view is we want this new engine button to link to that view that we just saw. In order to do that I'm going to make sure that I'm in design mode and I'm going to click on that button and go to properties and down here under link I can choose to link this button to a number of different things. So you can see we've got a lot of different possibilities here, but we're going to link it to a view and specifically that engine view. Now we'll go ahead and update this existing view that we're in. And now we want to take it out of design mode. And when we're not in design mode, we're going to experience this interactive content as if an end user would, who is maybe viewing it uh, using the 3D via Composer player tool. Uh, that could be an ActiveX initiated control uh, online, or it could just be that they downloaded the free player. And we'll go ahead and click Engine, and that's going to take us there. Then maybe I want to be able to get back off of this engine view and go back to my initial view. So I'm just going to control drag my initial view in to my viewport here. And then we'll update this view. And now I can click on that to bring me back. So we'll go back to our engine and then back to our other view. So you can imagine the possibilities here uh, go pretty far as far as what you want to create, how you want it to look. Uh, this is just an example of some of the type of things that you can do with the interactive content in 3D via Composer.